Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Bioshika. This is Ishika and today I would be discussing all about bioinformatics as this is the most demanded video in my channel. So without wasting any further time, let's dig into the topic from scratch. So we all know that bioinformatics is nothing but it's uh, the combination of biology, math, statistics as well as your computer. We all have pretty fair knowledge about biology. We also know bits in mathematics what we need to develop is uh, learning more about your computer science so the key applications where bioinformatics plays a vital role is in your genomics protomics agriculture your drug discovery ai in healthcare as well as precision in medicine so these are certain fields where bioinformatics uh, is very important and plays a vital role so you can take out two to three days and go research about these fields, know more about bioinformatics. So it would be easier for you to choose a specific field where you want to uh, put in your efforts and you have your interests. So basically discover your interest in bioinformatics. So if we see the step by step roadmap after 12, so the basic subjects that you should be like you should have taken. Abhitak, if you have decided that you want to uh, do bioinformatics, you want to develop a good career in bioinformatics, you should be having like key knowledge in biology, maths, computer. So these are the subject selection. We all know about it. So talking about a bachelor degree or graduation, you can have a degree on any of the subject. For example, your biotechnology, microbiology, life sciences, computer science, etc. Any of the subject you can have a degree on. What matters the most is how much skill you have in biotechnology, how much knowledge you have, what are the certifications, what are the internships you have done during that period. So let's talk about that first. Skills such as your programming language, such as Python, Java, C, R, these are the specific programming languages you can uh, learn. Aage jake. Tools, for example, these are tools that means these are various software programs that helps to analyze, interpret your biological data that has been provided. For example, we have Blast Bioconductor here. Databases, statistical tools you can learn from platforms like Linux, GIT or any other platforms or offline courses also you can take during a graduation period. So after doing a uh, graduation, you can do a post graduation. That is your MSc MTech in bioinformatics, computational biology or biotechnology, which requires obviously it requires entrance exam. We will discuss this further again in this video. So uh, basically entrance exam helps to get into top tier colleges like government colleges and in specific. So skills that you have developed during your graduation. Now let's talk about the internship and projects. So you can apply to labs, hospitals, pharma and bio IT companies work on NGS, GWAS, machine learning. So these are few internship as well as projects you can include in your CV for getting into good big companies. Why not? Then we talk about the certification, which are optional, but if you can have it, then go for it. So online platforms such as Coursera, NPTEL, Udemy provides excellent certifications for uh, developing a good career, of course, in bioinformatics. Talking about uh, your doctorate or PhD for advanced roles, specialization in area like genomic, AI, drug design, funded PhDs are also available in India, such as IITs, your IISC, CSIR, and abroad also you can apply. So let's talk about top colleges in India for bioinformatics. So we have IIT Delhi, Madras, Hyderabad. Through GATE exam, you can uh, do course such as MTech, MS, we have IISC Bangalore through JAM, you can do your integrated PhD. JNU Delhi from GATB, you can do MSc MTech again. University of Hyderabad, again through GATB exam. Triple IT Hyderabad, JE Advanced, you can do your BTech plus MS degree. Then we have Amity as well as VIT. Then you can do your BSc and MTech course. Talking about the entrance exams, we here expect J E main advanced GAT B C U E T I I T JAM GATE. These are few exams that you can clear to get into top tier colleges. 
for these courses such as BTEC, MSc, MTEC, UG, PG, MSc as well as MTEC, PhD. Like these are the courses. Subjects, you check it out. So basically these are and basically these are the entrance exams you need to be preparing uh, in order to get into good colleges. Otherwise, you can do uh, this thing in private colleges as well. Scope and career opportunities, we see roles, for example, your bioinformatics analyst, computational biologist, clinical data analyst, AI, ML, and drug discovery research scientist, that is professor. Industries, we see pharma, such as your Biocon, Roche, we see Research Institute, that is CSIR, ICGEB, we see hospital startups hiring bioinformaticians. So every other lab, uh, there is a need of such a person who has enough knowledge about bioinformatics, but except big companies, most of the companies and labs do not have that much funding to actually hire a bioinformatician. So they look after people uh, who have these skills and these internships, projects done during their graduation and post-graduation so that they could hire them easily for their benefits. So I hope you got an idea how this biotech industries and companies work so moving on salary in india we see for an entry level analyst that is 3 to 5 lpa mid-level scientist 6 to 10 lpa r d scientist 8 to 12 project scientist 6 to 9 then phd fellows we expect uh, expect 3.5 to 6 lpa as stipend so you guys, if you have enough knowledge and you have interest in studying further, you can also apply abroad in top universities, crack their exams and excel in fields such as genomics, bioinformatics, biomedical informatics. So this was all about your bioinformatics as you all guys have demanded. So thank you. All the best. And if you have any doubts, you can always comment below in the comment section. So yeah, all the best. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe for more bio related content.